Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kitty. On my channel, I like to do scary stories, stories of my personal life, a lot of live streams, and I like to throw in vlogs every now and then as well as makeup related videos as well as thrift hauls. So if one of those things speaks to you, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. And if you could do me a favor, go follow Bajan Beauty on all platforms. TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. That is my small business. I am Apache, Native American, and my small business is Apache owned. Bajan means girly girl in Apache. And we are actually having a sale right now for Labor Day weekend. The sale ends on Tuesday. And the prices that are on the website are the lowest prices we have ever had so far. So make sure to go shop while you can and save some money. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a story time video. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. I used to do them quite frequently, but my dating scene has slowed down. Um, I think it's just, I don't know, sometimes I think people in this area might have come across my dating videos and because I have gotten recognized on certain apps and it kind of sucks because um i don't know if they like punk out because they think i'm gonna tell a story about them or if it's i don't know i don't know whatever it's just weird it's kind of weird sometimes so i feel like maybe that kind of hurt me a little bit in the dating game but for whatever reason this date this guy knew absolutely nothing about me and that's the way i like it so I met this guy, he is Navajo, and um, I met him through online dating, and he seemed different. Um, he sent me some pictures right away. Uh, we were talking for a while on the app, but then after a few days, he was like, can I text you? Can I call you? And I was like, um, if you're down to call me or text me, I guess that's okay. So, um, the what like the conversation was really good. So I was like, okay, well, let's let's. It's okay for me to give out my number every now and then. I don't like to because, to me, every time I've given out my number, I feel like it's it's to people I don't want to give my number it's to people that turn out to be people that I wish I never gave my number to and then they start bothering me and like it's kind of annoying so that's why I don't like to give out my number I gave out my number because I was like okay he doesn't seem creepy or like needy or nothing like that and um we started talking I guess he had gone home to the res to go be with um his family and during that time we were like still talking and just like getting to know each other and um he just seemed like a good fit like he just seemed like everything that I'm looking for so I was like okay cool I think he spent like a good three four maybe five days home on the reservation he said he wanted to come back because he was in between jobs and so he wanted to come back and um find another job out here because he lives out here and he wanted to find a job locally i guess the job <clears throat> he was currently at was on the reservation and it wasn't it, it would like start up and then they would stop for a while then it would start up like so it wasn't consistent so he was saying that he wanted to come back down and get a job, like a full-time job. So um, he was on his way home. So he was like, um, I'm actually headed back to Phoenix right now. Um, and when he got back in town, he was like, I just got back home. And my boys were gone. Oh, they were with their dad. My boys were with their dad. And that night i didn't want to make dinner and so i had told him that like i don't want to make dinner like I'm not in the mood to make dinner um and he was like i said did you eat yet and he's like no so i was like okay um he was like do you want to go like meet up somewhere and i was like yeah like we're trying to figure out where and, I, and by this time it was already like nine ish 
and he had just got back into town. So I was like, well, I'm going to need you to come over to my side of town because I don't want to drive far because my boys are, you know, they're going to be back any minute. So he was like, okay. He came over here and he was like, let me take a quick shower or whatever. Um, and I was like, all right, cool. Take your time because I wanted to like look nice too. I was getting ready and then he was like, okay, it's like 30 minutes away. So I'll be there soon. So the spot that I suggested was um, probably the only place I know um, that stays open that late. Everywhere else closes right away. They're like, you know, the big change in chain restaurants and stuff this place i know for sure stays open so i was like let's go meet over there and he's like cool i'll be there in 30 minutes so i was like all right cool so i was getting ready real fast and then um i think i got there before he did and i was waiting in the parking lot and i was like kind of nervous because in the photos that he sent to me he looked like in shape and just um I don't know. He just looked, he's, he was good looking. He was cute. The photos that he sent me and he looked like really like kind of bougie, kind of bougie native. And so I was kind of like, dang, like, I wonder if I'm like, I don't know. I just, I was just kind of like nervous. So he pulls up and he's like, I'm here. And I saw him and I was like, ooh, he has a nice ride, you know? And then he was like, where are you at? And I lied and I was like, I'm inside. And he's like, okay. And then he went in and he was like, I don't see. I was like, um, I'm just kidding. I'm right behind you because I wanted to see what he looked like. And when he went inside, he he was a little a, a little bigger than what I thought. Like, not height bigger but weight bigger and I know I'm not all that you know I know I'm not like the most fit person in the world but one thing that I cannot stress to you men and women out there is when you're on these apps put up a current photo Put up a photo of you and how you look right then and there maybe that day if not that day maybe that week try to keep your photos current for me if i'm talking to somebody i always have a current photo for that within that last couple of months when i give my number out to somebody and they want to because guys are nosy guys are they like to look and I've I don't want to catfish people because I've been catfished so many times that I feel like if I do it then it's gonna be it's, it's gonna keep happening to me like karma so I, I don't like to do that I like to like be honest and be like I'm a big chick you know but I'm still cute, you know, like, I'm still a kick-ass woman. I have a lot to bring to the table. I own my own business, you know, like, I have shit to offer, you know what I mean? Like, I'm confident in who I am as a person, even though I am a plus-size woman, you know what I mean? And so, like, when I do talk to somebody and it gets to exchanging numbers and I do, um, you know, like, hey, they asked for a picture, you know, I always make sure to send one when I'm looking snatched and cute and I always make sure to send one when I'm look not super busted up but without makeup just because men will get so used to seeing you with makeup on like this that when you take off your makeup it's the end of the world to them like I I just I just I'm comfortable in my skin when I wear makeup and I'm comfortable in my skin when I don't wear makeup and I always and I know I look different you know I know I look different with makeup and I know I look different without makeup and there's very few women out there that can wear makeup and like they just have that natural beauty you know like they can wear makeup and look the same and then they can take it off and they still look the same I am not one of those people and I know that and I'm humble about it and so 
I just don't ever want to like catfish people and so when I saw this guy walk in and saw that he was a little bit huskier than his photos that he sent me I was kind of like I ain't even gonna lie I was kind of like should I just leave or should I just not be too judgmental because you ain't all that kitty you know like he's a big chick too you know so I was like you know what let me like he did drive so many hours from the res and then he drove all the way across town to come meet him so I was like let's go in there so um, we met and they seated us right away and we just started talking um, I think he ordered like a a cheeseburger and fries and me you know you ain't got to tell me twice what I want I already know what I want I want steak I ordered steak um, loaded mashed potato <laughs> and um, some broccoli and then it came with like salad and a drink and um, I saw that he 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 drank iced tea so I was like, okay okay we're like we're maybe maybe we're on to something but once we sat down, like, I don't know if he was nervous or if he just talks a lot, but he's kind of seems white boy native. Like, like he seems a little too bougie, like a little too, like, like he don't want to get dirty. I mean, I know he, he, he gets dirty at, in his job and stuff, but you know, there's some native men that, that are just a little too femi like a little too clean you know what i mean and he's or like cocky or like they think they're a little they're too good because they live in the city you know there's there's some natives like that and that's what i kind of got from him and already that was just like taking points off already but he just kept talking and like he wouldn't even like ask me questions i felt like i was the one asking him all the questions and he was just like kept talking about himself talking about his um i guess he was a veteran he's a veteran so he was talking about like military and what he did after military and what he's doing now and like what kind of work he does and just like i was literally eating my salad like uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like trying to be interested as much as I can but at the same time I, w I really didn't care as a female I really don't care <laughs> I really don't care by the time our food came you know we we're just like just talking and stuff um, and I and I know he meant well you know and um, it was just like it was just not it the vibe just wasn't there like the vibe it was there during conversations but in person the vibe the vibe is not there and that's the thing that sucks about like dating and stuff is you can talk really well on the phone or you could text really well and have like good conversations but when it comes to in person it's kind of like it's not always like that and that's why it's important to like get to know people you know i was already like kind of turned off already and then i just kept like looking at him and i try not to be super judgmental like i don't want to be shallow you know i don't want to be a shallow person and judge people based off their looks but it really grinds my gears and it really irks me when guys send you pictures of themselves and they're nice and fit and they're looking all fresh and clean and then they show up and it's just like damn you catfished me and i tell you guys all this time that guys do it to guys talk about women doing it but guys do it too and I, I just i just can't help it i just like man this guy he really um he's really not confident in himself you know like even you know as a plus size guy i was like i, I mean like uh, just keep it real with me just keep it real with me you know like don't waste my time and so already like i was already like i'm just gonna eat this meal and if this guy does not pay for my meal i'm gonna be pissed because a gentleman should always pay and so um after it was like already closing by this time i think we had like a good 
probably a good hour. So, um, yeah, we had about a good hour before closing time. And then probably like 10 minutes before closing, we started noticing like everyone was clearing out. They started cleaning and stuff. And he was like, um, are you ready? And I was like, okay, like, yeah. And then he paid for the meal and I was like, all right, cool, you know, thanks. And um, uh, we went outside and I thought like he was just going to be, because to me, I, I wasn't feeling it. So I assumed for sure he wasn't feeling it. Like he was just being nice, you know. And so he was like, where are you parked at? And I told him, I'm like, oh, I'm right here, you know. And so we went by my car and uh, we were just talking a little bit more. And I was just kind of like, I felt like he was just trying to drag it on, you know. I was already over it by then. I was like, well, I'm going to get like, I'm going to get going, you know, like trying to get in my car. And he was right by my door and like blocking it with this big ass. <laughs> And so, like, I couldn't even get into my car without, like, being rude, you know? And so I tried to, like, hint to him, like, hey, like, I'm going to get, all right, it was nice, you know, thank you for dinner. Like, um, I got to get home. My boys are probably home by now. And then he was like, um, can I can I get a kiss? And I was like, um, no. And he was like, why not? And I was like, because I don't even know you. And he was like, this is not the last time you're going to see me. And I was like so like ew, you know like and he wasn't even like smooth about it either he was kind of like nerdy you know like he don't even have no game type of person and i was just like that was just like even way more turn off and and then he um he kept trying to like kiss me and then he was like going around my neck and i and i i kept like pushing him off and i was like no um I don't do that, you know? I was like, I'm not 21 no more. I said, like, I'm just here to get to know you and, and like, I ain't trying to get down like that or nothing. Like, I don't, like, I'm way past that stage in my life. He was like, um, well, I just, like, you're so pretty. And like, he's like, you look really nice. You, you look hot, you know, this and that. And please, he's like, please. And then he was like, trying to, cause he's, he was taller than me, which was really rare. He was really taller than me. Cause most Navajo men that I went on a date with, they're always either shorter than me or like kind of near the same height as me. And I like tall guys, so I was like, all right, cool, this guy's tall, you know, like, so he had to, like, bend down, you know, to get to me, but I wasn't even, like, like, he was literally, if I would have told him, like, get on your knees first, he would have did it, like, that's how much he was kind of, like, begging, and I, I was kind of embarrassed for him, because he kept saying, like, please, like, please, just one. And I'm just, I said, don't, I even said this. I was like, don't beg. And he was like, wow, well, like, I just want one. You're so pretty. You're beautiful. Like, and I was just like, damn. I mean, I know, I know I'm cute, but am I like, am I like a baddie to you? <laughs> am I like a baddie compared to all the ladies you've been with, you know, like, and like he wouldn't let up and that just kind of pissed me off and it just like annoyed the hell out of me even more he started like getting like hard down there and he was trying to tell me like just touch it and i was like ew i was like no and then i was like fuck it you fuck it let me see you what we're working with maybe this might you know change my whole mind and i and I felt, and I guess you could say it was kind of girthy, <laughs> Sierra's word. It was a little on the thick side, but that thing was small. It was small, and I was just like, damn. So I was like, man, yeah, this is probably the last time I'm going to see him. There's just no, like, from the time I saw him get out of the car, the points started decreasing, 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 decreasing. And then there was a little left, a little 10% left. And then once I felt, it was like, whoop. <laughs> and I was just like, damn, yeah, like, I got to go, you know. And so I got in my car and I just, like, 
drove around for a little bit because you just never know. Some people are creeps and especially someone like that, that is really desperate like that and just like really like don't take no for an answer and just kind of like, I don't know, he, the way he was looking at me, the way he was looking at me, he had this thing in his eye like, I don't know, the vibe was weird about him, like, he looked, he looked like the type of person, the vibe that I got from him, he looks like the type of person that goes home, grabs lotion, grabs his tissue box, watches P-O-R-N all day and all night, does that all day and all night, and, obs and obsesses over women and don't actually interact with women. He seems like that kind of nasty, like kind of weird kind of nasty. That look in his eye, mm, it was a big turn off. I was like, man, this guy's like, I'm really now that I'm sober and everything, I'm really good like at reading people and like, I don't even know how to explain it. But if you guys been rocking with me for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. And, and I could just tell like, this, this guy is, it's, it's giving Jeffrey Dahmer, it's giving um, serial killer like tendencies and um, uh, sex, uh, S-E-X um, addiction type of thing. And I was just like, so I was like, yeah, hell no, I ain't going straight home. I'm going to drive around first and then I'm going to go home just for me, just for my safety. And um on my way home, he was like, um, what did he say? He said something like, um, I said, man, I said, you, you really don't hold back, huh? And he was like, um, you just look really pretty. You just look really beautiful tonight. And, um, he's like, I couldn't help it. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get down like that. You know, like, um, I'm, I'm dating to like find something serious, you know, like I'm not going to just pop off and jump in bed or like just do stupid shit like that. You know, that's high school stuff. And, and then, um, he just never responded. I think he got the point. Like, I don't know if he was embarrassed or what, but I'm glad he stopped responding because I didn't want to have to blow him off. Um, so I just left it as that and I never texted him back, never bothered him. I deleted that thread. I don't even save numbers. And yeah, that's what happened. That's my latest story. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to keep telling you guys dating stories. I know it's been so long since I've told one, um, but either way, let me know. Um, and it does take a lot to put yourself out there like this, you know, like I don't have to tell you guys this, but I really enjoy telling you guys these types of stories because it's real. And then also I just feel like um, it's funny too and it's entertaining. And at the same time, like the younger women out there, you know, like I, I, I want you guys to like learn from my mistakes as well too. So um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, give us a follow, subscribe, and don't forget to um, follow Bajan Beauty on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And don't forget the sale ends, the Labor Day sale ends on Tuesday. Make sure to get your cosmetic stuff at the lowest price we have ever had them at. You guys have a good weekend. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!